Hello everyone, which is better, digital clamp meter or regular multimeter? In many ways, it depends on what exactly needs to be measured and under what conditions. It is best when the digital clamp meter and the multimeter are combined in one device. In this video, I want to show you an excellent digital clamp meter with all the capabilities of a multimeter. These are digital clamp meter from Venlab. The VC600D model. Looking ahead, I want to say that this is an excellent and accurate measuring device. In the description below this video, I will leave a link by clicking on which you can get more information about these digital clamp meter and, if desired, purchase them. In addition, there will be a promo code in the description for a significant discount when buying digital clamp meter. Well, now let's move on to the most interesting thing. We will test all the capabilities of this device. The VC600D digital clamp meter from Venlab are supplied in such a box in dark colors. Inside the box are instructions and digital clamp meter in a cloth case. First, let's take a look at the instructions. The instructions are in four languages, German, French, Spanish and Italian. Here we are primarily interested in the characteristics of digital clamp meter. Let's see what they are. Measurement of constant voltage up to 1000 volts. Alternating voltage up to 750 volts. Measurement of direct current up to 1000 amperes. AC current measurement is also up to 1000 amperes. Resistance measurement up to 60 megaohms, Capacity up to 100 microfarads. And frequency measurement up to 10 megahertz. Also, these digital clamp meter can measure temperatures up to 1300 degrees Celsius. Well, the digital clamp meter from Venlab have excellent characteristics. Now let's see what's inside this case. digital clamp meter batteries by the way it's a trifle but it's nice a thermocouple for measuring temperature and probes digital clamp meter have a pleasant appearance and they lie comfortably in your hand the device is made qualitatively strong plastic nothing creaks and does not wobble the modes are switched using this disk switch. Also on the front panel there are four buttons for enabling and disabling additional functions. Now I will check the digital clamp meter in operation, but first of all, I will install the batteries. The probes have a very soft cord, the maximum limit of their measurements is 1000 volts and 20 amperes. Everything is ready, and now you can test the device. The first mode is the detection of an electric field. I have an electric wire in my hand. This mode works fine. The next two measurement modes are the current strength. Up to 60 amps. And up to 1000 amps. Of course, I do not have consumers with such a current strength, therefore for example I measure the current strength of some household electrical appliances. 
Now I'm measuring what current the iron consumes. For the convenience of measurement, I connected additional wires to the iron. The current strength is 5.2 amperes. Now I will connect a regular multimeter to measure the current more accurately. Both devices show a current of 5 amperes. I will also check what current the transformer consumes. The current strength is approximately 80 milliamps. Using this button, you can change the measurement mode of direct or alternating current. This will be reflected on the screen. The next measurement mode is DC and AC voltage. There are 243 volts in the electrical network. Also in the AC voltage measurement mode, you can press this button to measure the frequency. The frequency is exactly 50 Hz. Next, the pulse duration. And again the tension. To measure the DC voltage, press the function button. The voltage of this battery is 1.61 volts. The next item combines several measurement modes. This is the measurement of capacitance, resistance, as well as checking diodes and electrical circuit. You can switch between these modes using the function button. First, I measure some resistances. This is a 47 kilo ohm resistor. And the device shows 46.7 kilo ohms. And another resistance at 10 ohms. The digital clamp meter also show 10 ohms. The next measurement mode is an audible signal and an electrical circuit check. It works great. It is also worth noting the rapid operation of the device. Next, the measurement of capacity. 100 microfarad capacitor. The device shows 92 microfarads. And another capacitor for 1 microfarad. 0.9 microfarad. Another measurement mode is diode testing. It works great. The next measurement mode is the pulse frequency and duty cycle. As an example, I again measure the frequency in the electrical network. Exactly 50 Hz. The last point is the temperature measurement. To measure the temperature, you need to connect a thermocouple instead of probes. The temperature is increasing. To make it more clear, I measure the temperature of the soldering iron. Also, these digital clamp meter can record the measurement results on the screen. When the hold button is pressed, this value remains on the screen. When you press this button for a long time, the backlight turns on. The fourth button turns on the relative measurement mode. It is also worth noting that the VC600D digital clamp meter have a true RMS function, that is, they measure high frequency currents. At the end of this video, let's look at the inside of the VanLab digital clamp meter. So, what conclusion can be drawn? The VC600D digital clamp meter is an excellent and accurate measuring device that will be useful in any workshop.
This concludes this video. If you liked it, then click on the subscribe button so as not to miss the new video on my channel, which will appear very soon. I thank you for watching and see you soon.